Our Big Ten Hockey Media Day coverage continues as we head to Madison to check in with Wisconsin senior forward Grant Bessie. Grant, it's hard to believe you guys actually open exhibition play next weekend. So what's the mood like around the team? Yeah, I mean, everyone's really excited. Um, obviously, we're, you know, with the new season, you know, the new coaching staff, we're excited to, um, you know, get our team back out on the ice and, you know, show the fans a new product that we have. You mentioned the new coaching staff. It was one of the biggest stories of the Big Ten offseason with Tony Granato coming in. What can you tell us about Coach Granato as a coach and what you guys expect him to be like as he embarks on his first year back at his alma mater? Yeah, I mean, you know, with Coach Granato, you know, he comes from the NHL. Um, you know, he's, he's been in the NHL for his entire coaching career, and, you know, hopefully he brings that aspect to us. I mean, we, um, you know, as a team, you know, respect, you know, what he's done and, um, you know, look forward to for him to bring, you know, his knowledge from, you know, the highest level that the game has played at and bring it to us. It's been 15 years since he played in the league. I think the end of his playing career was 2001. So that means most of you guys were just getting started on the game of hockey. What do you guys know about his playing career? How much extra research did you guys do after you found out he was the coach? Um, you know, quite a bit. Um, you know, we kind of looked up, you know, some of his highlights from his NHL career and obviously did some research, you know, as he played on the Olympic team and, and you know, was... Um, you know, had an illustrious career in the NHL as kind of, you know, a hard, hard nosed grit player. And, you know, but obviously, he had, you know, his scoring touch and, you know, that showed throughout his career as well. As you guys get set for 16 17, I looked at your non conference schedule. You have BC twice. You make a road trip out west where you go back to back nights against CC and Denver. And this comes after last year when you guys played BC, BU. You had two each against North Dakota and Denver. I know Big Ten play is great, but tell me about the excitement and intensity of those top-level non-conference games, especially playing them on the road? Yeah, obviously, it's, you know, it's really exciting. I mean, if you look back at last year, um, you know, obviously, we didn't, we didn't perform the way we hoped to out in, you know, out in Boston, but then came back, you know, and, you know, played at the, you know, Ralph Engelstead Arena and um, played pretty well, you know, won one game and, you know, lost the other one by a goal, I think. So, I mean, the atmosphere, you know, just seeing it around, you know, other rinks around the country, you know, is, is an unbelievable experience for all of us. Obviously, we know about your goal scoring prowess, but last year you had 22 helpers, and that's more assists than you had combined in your freshman and sophomore years. So where did that come from? Why did you become a little bit more of a facilitator last year? Yeah, I mean, obviously playing with, you know, you know a sniper like Luke Conan, um, you know, helped a lot. Obviously, that guy knows how to put the puck in the back of the net, so... You know, maybe some opportunities in past years that, you know, I've, you know, created, you know, might not have gone in. But, you know, with him, him there, um, you know, he usually finds the back of the net pretty well. What kind of similarities do you guys find between each other? Because I found myself trying to make them last year as I watched you guys play together. Yeah, I mean, he's a little bit bigger than I am. But, um, you know, I think we both, you know, enjoy, you know, shooting the puck, you know, trying to score. And, you know, when the pass is there, you know, neither of us have any problem of, you know, making that play. So, I mean, you know, I think we're both, you know, trying to work off each other. And, you know, I think that's worked out for us in the past and will continue to work for us this year. There weren't a ton of veterans, at least not a ton of seniors on this team last year. I believe that Kevin Schultz and Eddie Whitco were the only senior skaters to use up all their eligibility. Meanwhile, 11 different freshmen were on the roster. How much do you expect the maturity of those guys and being more used to playing in the league to benefit you guys in 16-17? Oh, it'd be a huge benefit. I remember, you know, jumping from my freshman year to my sophomore year, you just feel more comfortable, you know, playing the game and with the speed and with the size of everybody. So I think our freshmen this year will make a huge jump and, you know, be a big part of a, you know, a good season for us. Most of the players that I'm talking with during this media day are seniors, so they won't have the chance to play Notre Dame as a conference opponent when the Irish join the league for the 17-18 season. But I'd love to get your take on what that means for Big Ten hockey. Yeah, obviously it's another high-caliber team that you know they add into the conference. Um, you know, obviously you know going to South Bend that'd be an awesome place to play. Unfortunately, I'll never get to to go there, but. You know, it's exciting for, you know, the guys coming up, and obviously it can be, a, you know, a draw for some recruits coming in. Academically, your major is agricultural business management. Why that major, and once you're done playing hockey, what do you hope that leads to? Yeah, I mean, um, for me, you know, I was, um, a couple of my, my friend's dads growing up, growing up were in, you know, commodity trading, and I found an interest in that, so... 
Um, you know, I'd like to you know play hockey for as long as I can after graduating, but um, whenever that comes to an end, I'd like to do something around you know commodity trading or something along that. You know, Minnesota company, you know, Cargill. We'll see what happens, but you know, I think that would be pretty cool. As you look around the Big Ten and really all of college hockey and you look at the grade point averages, uh, hockey teams carry one of the best grade point averages among all sports uh, nationwide. Why do you think that is? And could you explain to me the balance that you find between athletics on the ice and academics in the classroom? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in terms of academics, um, you know, we like to think of hockey as kind of a blue collar, hard, hard working sport. And I think you know, with that attitude, it carries over to the classroom. You know, guys, you know, go to class, take care of, you know, their, their schoolwork on a day-to-day -day basis, and then, you know, try and get it done early so you don't have to worry about it on game weekends. So I think, you know, between those things, um, you know, I think that might be a reason why, you know, some most hockey players, you know, do carry a good, good GPA. Wisconsin forward Grant Bessie joining us on Big Ten Hockey Media Day. Grant, truly appreciate the time. Have a great senior season. Thank you. Appreciate it.